there's a song uh, on the record called Own. And I thought, okay, everything on Own is in 4 4. But boy, it doesn't sound like it. Because I tried my hardest to think of a way to, to play in 4 4 that doesn't sound like 4 4. And to create a rhythm that I've never heard uh, uh, played before. I mean, it may well exist, but I've never heard it before. And so, when I come up with these ideas, sometimes, you know, they come quite quickly, sometimes months go by until I stumble upon something that I think, this could have, you know, the start of something quite interesting to it. And then, I, you know, I quite often put down an idea of a bass line, an idea of a guitar line, and I send them to Rick and I say, look, this is, you know, the sort of, these are my basic ideas, and then Rick forms them into songs, he's a good songsmith. You know, we swap ideas backwards and forwards quite a lot as well. There's a lot of uh, sort of emailing files, there's file sharing going backwards and forwards. And, um, and so it develops, you know, we have a lot of phone conversations about where we think this piece could go. I might add new bits, Rick might send me new bits, and, and we carry on working on the piece, although in two separate <laughs> yeah. sort of places, we're kind of thinking about the same thing and contributing to the same piece. I suppose that's the, the you know, the fun of the, uh, the modern technology that we could yes. do that. We're quite often not in the same room together, but we're working on exactly the same thing. So there's, there's a lot of trust involved in knowing what the other person might do. And, uh, you know, the similarities in our personality is that, you know, we do like surprises. I do like it when I send something to Rick and he sends something back that's just like, wow, I would never have thought of that. And that's what makes collaboration so much fun, is that the other person's going to do something that you don't expect, and then that's going to spark off something in you that you think, wow. Yeah. Well, you know, that, that, that's it, for sure. I don't think either of us would have written a record like this mm -hmm. on our own, that the, the interactive part and the collaborative part is something that's very interesting. I've never really wanted to make a record on my own because I get too bored with myself. You know what I mean? I like it when it doesn't sound like me. It's like when you see a photograph of yourself and it doesn't look like you. You sort of think, well, why doesn't it actually look like me? I like that. You get so bored with your own <coughs> sort of image and your, your own persona on the instrument. If someone can inspire you or push you to create something that is new, it doesn't sound like you. Yeah. That's a great thing. Have that extra spark. Because sometimes that's what's needed. I mean, when you lock yourself in a room and you're doing it like eight hours, you're writing eight hours, it, it's so hard to be objective about it. And it's hard to get outside of yourself, your own ego and all that. So that, that to me is the, the beauty of having the collaboration. And one thing I like, well, that both Gavin and I have in common is our love of rhythm. Rhythm for rhythm's sake. Um, and it doesn't have to, as he said, it doesn't have to be 4-4. Four, four. Rhythm, rhythm is such a broad spectrum. And, and to limit yourself to the conventions of your own conditioning or of the 4-4, the, the four, four, you know, it's just so much, so much more room for expression to work with. And, and because of this vast knowledge of and his love for outside rhythms, it's, it's the spark that's needed to take me outside of myself as well. Because I can get stuck, you know, both of us can just get stuck into who we are. It's so easy to stay with something you love, and both of us love the idea of challenging ourselves yeah. and in the evolution. I mean, Gav's mentioned it, and I practice every day. I, I, I work at this craft every day, whether it be songsmith or practicing as a musician. And sometimes you just really do need that extra spark to just take you out. And th th this, these three albums have been that. And I think we've, on this album, we've really, I've pushed, I've pushed my boundaries, at least. Uh, I'm hoping we push them next, even further, but right now I'm quite content that it's gone this far. And I think it's a perfect indication. It, it, it's, a, it, it's a perfect rendition or a perfect example of where I am as a, as a Musician, writer, song, writer, right now. I'm quite happy with it.